show you a way to use your old military style L-shaped flashlight to start a fire without sacrificing the flashlight. Now as you can see, I've already prepared my site. I've already laid my fire using the log cabin technique. I've got my three different sizes of kindling. I've got my matchsticks, pencils, magic marker size. I've got a tinder bundle going. And of course, I've got my flashlight for a fire starter. Now what we need, of course, is a functioning flashlight that has battery power. What we're gonna do is we're gonna harness that energy that's stored inside the, the two D-cell batteries, and we're gonna use that to start our fire. Now these L-shaped flashlights may seem like ancient technology, but these were actually really durable, uh, fairly lightweight. They weren't the brightest things in the world. They came with different filters. It had a compartment on the bottom that actually held all the different colored fil filters, like a blue, an orange, a clear diffuser, things like that. So what I did to prep this is in the bottom container, which is waterproof, it's got that nice little rubber gasket. The bottom container where the filters used to be, all I did was take those filters out and on the inside of that compartment I put steel wool, alligator clips, and a couple of lead wires. Our first step after we've taken out our components our alligator clips with our, our three inch lead wires, three to four inches, doesn't really matter. It doesn't, they don't have to be uh, color coded like this. It just, one goes on one and one goes on the other. It doesn't matter. So I've got those two and I've got my steel wool. Now to prep the steel wool, what I'm gonna do is kind of pull it apart just like you would a cotton ball. And I'm gonna place that inside my tinder bundle. Now with the flashlight turned off, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the bulb and this whole front assembly so I can get to the positive and negative connections that are running to the battery. Take my bulb out, careful not to break it, and I'll set all that to the side. Now as you can see inside here, I've got a positive and I've got a negative uh, copper connector that's pulling off of the batteries. So next what I'm going to do is hook my alligator clips up to those connections. And I've found that it's easiest if I kind of bend that a little bit so that I can get the positive connection on. And then I'll go ahead and hook up my negative connection. I've got my flashlight set up and ready to go. And of course I've got my steel wool already inside my tinder bundle. Now that everything's prepped, all I have to do is have my two lead wires, turn my flashlight on, and then touch it to the steel wool, both connections. As you can see that starts sparking. A little bit of smoke going, steel wool's taken off. Place that tinder bundle inside. Match six size kindling on inside my uh, log cabin lay. Give that a second to take off. Then add some more match stick size. onto my pencil size. Well there you have it, a survival fire with nothing but an L-shaped flashlight, a couple of alligator clips, some three inch lead wires, and a piece of steel wool. And if you remember I said this doesn't sacrifice the flashlight, it just takes a little bit of the power that's stored inside these batteries and uses that to start the fire. So all I have to do is unclip these alligator clips Put my bulb back in. Reassemble the flashlight. And as you can see, it still works. So what that means is with the alligator clips and the lead wires and this flashlight still having power, I can use it to start more fires. Well, hopefully you found this video helpful. We hope that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out some of our past videos, and like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and also follow us on Pinterest.